Hey everyone, today we're going to do a quick um, blown flower type thing, um, like Rin Rinsky, I think is her name. I'll link her channel down below. Her technique is fabulous and it is so fun and you got to try it. Um, so I have a medium gray, violet, and then this is violet with um, some titanium white lightened down. Uh, this was a green, it's like a minty green, and um, I did white and a couple drops of the, the gray to give me a nice light gray. And I'm using our leftover Play-Doh pots for some containers to store the Play-Doh or the paint in, the, the lids and all, so happy days. And I have some titanium white. Okay, and the mix is one part paint to two parts Floetrol, a little bit of water, depending on the consistency that you are personally looking for. Uh, let me show you my consistency. I tend to go on the thicker side. I feel like it wouldn't, um, doesn't blend the colors as much, kind of keeps your chances of maybe less muddiness. Let's see. So here, I don't even, I don't know if we can see this. I don't think you can. I'm trying. Good. I'm gonna have to get a second, second camera so I can switch up some angles. Um, okay, anyway, so let's get started. So we're going to And no silicone, no oil or anything. Okay. on camera so you guys don't want to hear me sing <laughs> so I just put the kids to bed so they're sleeping now unless one of them sneaks down mommy what are you doing can I do it with you <laughs> okay that's a pretty Okay, and we will go with that, and then I'm just going to drop. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just keep it. And lots of purple. I'm gonna do a ring pour with these colors. Um, injection next. So, okay, so you wanna put the white, a nice bit of white, cause what you're gonna do is, if you had a blow dryer, is you would blow the white over the puddle and then you'd blow it back out. But since, well, I might try my blow dryer again, but right now I'm just gonna blow with my lungs. So. Sorry about the camera angle, or if you see my head, or get like a hair shot or something, sorry. Okay, so here we go. Whoa. Okay. And now we're gonna turn it back, and I'm gonna blow over. Turn it again. You guys are gonna hear me blowing it. Yeah, you get, you know, you gotta take a break sometimes, but it's not that bad. Okay. So we're just gonna let it sit. I'm gonna torch it, get the air bubbles out, see if any natural cells pop up. All that good stuff. I 
I'm gonna do one of these one time with some coconut hair serum. Now I need a stick, clean stick. And then we're just gonna push the white over, get the nice clean edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to squirt some white here. And I have not had a problem with these drying at all. I will show you some of the dried, you know, cause I know they tend to get a, probably a bit more paint. I should go less on the paint, but I haven't had any issues. Um, they've all been dry, drying really nice. And I'm starting to get a little collection of these. I love just walking by and looking at them. I think they are fabulous. It's such a fun technique as well. I'm loving it. But yeah, so I'm getting a nice little collection. And I know my husband keeps saying, you gotta get some up to sell them. <laughs> I will. Well, I, I will I will put them up. <laughs> if anybody buys them, that's one thing, but we'll see. But I think it would definitely be Hard to part with some of the pores, but, you know, if somebody else can enjoy a piece of art that I made, that'd be great. I'd be happy with that. So here, I'm going to have to put a little bit here, and I'm probably going to blow over, unless it falls naturally over, which, that's grand, yep. That is grand. I think that's really pretty. I'm happy with that. Oh, I gotta get this in. Let me know what you guys think. Try it out. Um, you can follow me on, follow my art page on Facebook, Erica Hughes Art. There's a link down below. That's the page that now I'm going to be posting. Uh, you know, updates, um, dry, dry pieces that I've poured. All that good stuff. Um, yeah, so follow me there. Check out, I think you pronounce her name, Rinsky. I think I have to, I should have looked before I started this video, but I will link her in the description below. She is fabulous and she's new to YouTube and she is, she's put out a few videos. I think she did her first ever ring pour and it was fabulous. Um, but yeah, check her out. Um, I'll link below. Okay, bring you guys in for a close-up. I think that silver is really nice with the purple. Um, I think it's a fabulous color palette. I just, a Pinterest gray color scheme or palette. And that's mostly how I pull my colors. All right, so I stick you back up there. Do, do, do. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Um, hit the like button. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or what you think. All right, guys, I will... Talk to you soon. Bye.